everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial, and today we're going to start making tycoons. Now, by the time you guys are watching this, my laptop will most likely be at a uh, shop getting fixed, because recently it's been shutting off a lot um, on its own, just overheating and shutting off. So I'm going to see if I can't have that fixed. Hopefully I can still get all five episodes out this week. I'm trying to record them before before I take it to the shop, but no promises, but get your fingers crossed, all right? Now, as I said, today we're going to start making a tycoon. So our first step is going to be getting rid of everything we made for our last project. That includes this local script, that includes this 2D game, that includes this enemy, this laser, this script, yeah, this update, there. Now we're back to Nothing, and we can actually get rid of this as well. There we go. Now we're done. Now we can just look at our plain blue base plate and be like, wow. We're starting from the bottom where we go. Soon we'll be like, started from the bottom, now we're here. Alright. So. Let's go up here. And you guys, there's a lot put into making a tycoon. But today, the first step is just going to be making the hierarchy of different models that will go into making a tycoon. So let's go to the Explorer workspace and just insert a model. I'm not going to zoom over to uh, basic objects because models are pretty simple. And insert three models into this model. Okay. I fail. What did I just do? Delete that model. Model, model, model. There we go. Alright, now this model, we're going to name it Tycoon. The model under it will name purchase, or, um, Products. The Tycoon under that will name it Purchasing. And the Tycoon, or the model, not Tycoon, the model under that we will name Bricks. Or actually, Money Bricks. Now, there's... Let me explain quickly what each of these are going to be used for, and then we're going to be done with the episode today. I know it's short, but with the fact that my laptop is going to be at the shop, I have to make these quick so that I have time to make all of them. Alright, so the first one is Tycoon. Tycoon is the grand, huge one. It's what the actual tech, everything else in the Tycoon is going to be in. The next one is Products. Products is everything you're going to be able to buy. We put it all in one model so that it's more organized and we can easily make our tycoon without feeling overwhelmed. Purchasing is where all of the little bricks are going to be so that you can step on them and actually buy something in the products. So that purchasing is going to have all the purchase bricks. Now money bricks is going... You guys most likely have played a tycoon before. If not, when you're playing a tycoon, the point is to buy everything, and usually there's droppers, which will drop bricks at some interval of time, and once they hit something, they'll be worth a certain amount of money that's added to another brick, uh, and then when you step on that other brick, you get the money to your stats, and you can spend that money to purchase other items. You usually have to purchase these droppers with one of them starting out as being free. You can also sometimes buy upgrades, which increase the value of the bricks as they fall. So, money bricks are going to be where all the bricks are that are falling, and when they hit the ground, will give us money. But we want them in money bricks so that if they ever glitch or something, they're all really easy to find and take care of. So that's what all of this is for. Tomorrow, we're going to work on actually giving players money and a couple other values that they'll need. Um, and we'll, we'll be pretty far along, hopefully by Friday, if I'm still able to make videos. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button. Corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.